Hey friends, I'm Alicia, the Southern Ladybug. This is my channel where I talk about all things crafty that I'm doing. Anything from cross stitch to crochet to beadwork, dabbling in a little resin and glitter, you name it, I've probably tried it. I get into a lot of stuff. I just like to try different things, try different mediums, and then show you what I came up with. So this is my channel where I do that. I just have a lot of fun and show off all my goodies. So let's get started. Uh, it's been a little while since I have filmed a video. Um, if you've been here before, thanks for coming back. If you're new here, I don't really give too many life updates and I'm not going to do too much today, but um, mainly because I would probably start crying. So I'm not gonna talk about it too much. I've had a little bit of a rough year this year. Um, had some, um, my uncle died in January, my mom died in April, my dog died in May, and that's enough about that. That's pretty depressing. Um, but in June, we got a new baby, so I'll introduce y'all to my new Azula. Come here, baby. Azula, come here. We lost Sam, our, um, Great Dane. He was about 11 years old. He was a black Great Dane. He was a good baby. He was my crafting buddy. He was all in, always in here inspecting everything. I called him my craft inspector. So I've got a new employee. Let me see if I can get her in here. Come on. Grace is still here, being bad as ever. Come on. Come up here. Oh, there we go. <laughs> this is Azula. A-Z-U-L-A. -A. Apparently it is Spanish for blue azul is and they just added an a she is actually grace's litter mate sister hey grace um it's kind of a, a crazy story how we <laughs> came about getting her but um the breeder just didn't have time for her anymore so she contacted the lady that we got um grace from and she asked us if we wanted her as well and it was just after sam died so we weren't real sure if we were ready for another one yet but here she is and she's perfect and they get along great they play and act like crazy dogs they are two years old their birthday is february 14th so we have valentine babies she is a blue merle and she is beautiful if you follow me on Facebook or Instagram, you'll see a whole bunch of pictures of her and their adventures. They are horrible craft employees. They don't inspect anything. All they do is tear stuff up and leave it all over my floor and bring all their toys in here. But they're good support staff, I guess. <laughs> they're good for moral support, but she has made, made everything better. And we're happy to have her. Okay. Let's get on to the good stuff. Come here, Grace. Okay. If you hear... There's Grace. Come here. If you hear some ruckus in the back, <laughs> that's them. And that is my life. 24-7. They are always acting crazy. Grace like, I don't know what you're talking about. That's not me at all. <laughs> but that's about all I've been up to. Dogs and, and some crochet. I don't have a whole lot of cross stitch to show y'all. I haven't really felt too much like uh, cross stitching too much, but I got a I got a few things done, and just recently I completed a project, so I'll show you that too. But um, things have gotten better. I on top of all that, I was pretty miserable at my job, and as of last Wednesday. I am no longer employed, so it's amazing. I have retired, and I am loving being at home, being a stay-at-home dog mom. I'm semi-retired. We won't call it completely retired. I am going to do some PRN work, which means work as needed with the sports medicine department and cover some um, athletic events. I'm an athletic trainer by trade, and I'm going to cover some athletic events, and I'm also going to work in the clinic where I came from and fill in as the bracing and casting tech, which is what I was doing when one of the guys is on vacation. So 
I'm really only going to get a two week vacation and then I have to go back to work. So I don't know if that was a good idea or not. We'll see. But I can say no if I want to. That's the the beauty of it. I have enjoyed my time at home this past week so very much. It is amazing and I love it. I've been productive. I've accomplished some things. I've gotten a couple little projects around the house done and I'm loving it. So more, more to come. My ultimate goal is to get my, I do have an Etsy shop and I've shown stuff on here before. And my ultimate goal is to get that up and going more and make a go of it. So y'all check that out. <laughs> um, I've got needle minders and scissor fobs on there now. I hope to be expanding that in the near future. And if there's just some general stitching accessories, maybe some floss keepers, floss tags, uh, stitch counters, froggers, things like that. So if there's anything that you want to see in my shop, let me know. Um, I'm all about some glitter and things like that. I do have some new needle minders that I've listed recently and some new scissor fobs that I've li listed recently. So y'all go check those out. Um, I did want to show y'all a few though, just because they're pretty. I do the beaded scissor fobs with the point protectors. Excuse me. Use lots of colors. Now I'm going to get real angry if this stuff doesn't focus now. Yeah. But I, I do the point protectors where you put your scissors in there and it protects the point of your scissors. So that's, that's what I like. But I can do it without if you want them. So I have a whole bunch. I'm not going to show you every one that I've done. But I've done a bunch and I like them. And I even did a couple of um, sets where I made a matching zipper pull, too, for your project bag. Some ladybugs. I probably ought to keep that one, huh? whole bunch of needle minders. I don't know. I don't remember if I have shown y'all my glitter ones or not. Um... Came out of there, pulled it out. Hang on, my needle. I don't know if I showed you the, on the last video, but I have been dabbling into some resin and things like that. Um, like people do those tumblers and stuff. I ain't into that. I ain't gonna get it all up involved in that. But I do like the medium. I do like to work with it and some of the cool things that you can do with molds and stuff like that. The only thing that I've done so far, I was trying to figure out how I could incorporate that into my stitchy goodness. I made some needle minders. And y'all know, if y'all have followed me any length of time at all, you know I'm all about some glitter. Pink glitter at that. Mm. Pink and glitter are my two favorite colors. So I have made these glitter needle minders with a um, monogram on it. They're just little disc and they have the strong magnets on the back that you just pull off and sandwich that in between your fabric and your needle. This rest right there. Pretty cool. These are really strong magnets too. It'll even hold your scissors up. But I've got all kinds of colors. Just every color in the rainbow, just waiting for a monogram. I don't have these listed in my shop because I couldn't get um, more of the exact same colors of glitter. So I'm working on finding some new, a new glitter source. But if anybody's interested, I do have some. And I can do a monogram. I can do just a single letter. I just thought this was a cool monogram. It was a little bit different than I've seen before. So I made pink for me, obviously. <laughs> but those are available. 
y'all come join my Facebook group too, say Southern Ladybug Designs. Everybody's welcome. You don't have to have an invite. Just click join and if we're not already friends, then I have I do have to approve you, but it's no big deal. It sends me a message and I just approve it. No questions to answer or anything like that. But that's the best place to see what I've been up to and what I have available first off. You get the first look at that. So, like I said, I haven't been doing a whole lot of stitching, cross-stitching, but I have, I have been doing a lot of crochet and been pretty busy with that. Uh, so, I will show you those things first. I've had several orders and requests. Hang on. Okay. Time back in. I had a dog trying to throw up or something. That's the story of my life, too. They're always hacking and coughing and having to go outside. It's a never-ending battle. <laughs> but that's okay. I don't mind it. But there are rules of the craft room that they are not have not been abiding by lately. Rule number one, no rough housing in the craft room. They completely disregard that. Rule number two, no passing gas in the craft room. Completely disregard that. Rule number three, I don't remember what rule number three was, but number four, no chewing on my chair. Azula's been doing that just while I'm sitting in it too. Bad dogs, bad dogs. Okay, where was I? Crochet. So I have, I got really busy around Easter and tried to make um, some things and put out there for Easter and did really well, but I have some things left over. I'm not going to show y'all all this stuff, but some really cute stuff. I love, they've been squished up in a bag right now. I need to be reshaped, but I love these patterns by Accessorize This Designs. These are sweet little loveys using super soft, fluffy chenille yarn. And they are so soft and cuddly. And these are the perfect little baby gift. So that's a key cat. And I got a bunny and a lamb. I'm working on a, a donkey right now. Somebody, it was the craziest thing. Somebody just randomly asked, can you make a donkey? Sure. I guess I can. I had a horse pattern, so I just used that and adapted a little bit, changed the colors up, and it turned out so cute. I don't have one right now. I ran out of yarn, so I'm waiting on the yarn to come in before I finish the one I'm working on, but it was so cute. It was, it was very popular. Everybody liked it. So I've made several of those here recently. I got to test a pattern for Accessorize This Designs, a little flip-flop frog. How cute is that? He's little and stitched up really quick, but he's so sweet and fun. I like him. <laughs> but we do not want the frog around now, do we? This one is really sweet. This pretty little fox. Isn't that pretty? He turned out so good. I haven't listed him yet. I was just hanging on to him. Okay, something else that has been really popular are these little bees. <laughs> I don't remember whose pattern I used for this, but out of the same big, thick yarn, and they're just happy bees. I love them. <laughs> and they're big and fat. A lot of people are making them out of the big blanket yarn, and they're humongous, and I kind of want to make one. And I think I'm going to, because these are so much fun with their little tiny little wings uh, so sweet and I've got I did a cuddle buddy I said I wasn't gonna do anymore but a very special friend asked for a couple for gifts for um Christmas and so I agreed I got to do a horse and I've done this rooster Look how big he is. He can sit on my shoulder. But look how cute. Look at that little tail. Little fuzzball tail. Really see. <laughs> it's 
washing out. There we go. It won't stay up. There. <laughs> and his little wings. He's so sweet. But he's big. I like making them. And they're, they're not terribly hard. But that one took a long time. And I have been recently kind of timing myself on some of this stuff to see how long it actually takes me when I can actually sit down and work on things. And that took me like six hours to do that, that rooster. So I'm trying to decide and have to learn to say no for some stuff because it's not, it's just not financially feasible. It takes too long for what I feel like I can charge and that people will pay. So that's why I don't do the cuddle buddies too much. They just take too long, but I love them. Going to stick with the little stuff. Um, I can get that done a lot quicker. And I got a whole bag of stuff, but like I said, I'm not going to show y'all all that stuff. Um, that's probably it for crochet. I did have this one last set of crocheted water balloons, reusable water balloons left. This is out of that big blanket yarn. And these have been popular this year too. They're pretty cool. You just dunk this whole thing. It's, it's not stuffed or anything. You dunk this whole thing in a bucket of water and it soaks up a ton and then you throw it just like a regular water balloon, but it's latex free. You don't have all the mess to clean up, all the little bits of balloon everywhere. And then you can wash them if you need to. Just let them dry and redunk them and reuse them. Very cool. So I've got a whole set of those in lots of bright colors. I think that's probably it for crochet. I haven't done a whole lot of other stuff. There's been stuff, some stuff that I got done and have given to the recipients, but I've been busy with that. So the little bit of cross stitch that I've done is I'm still working on this Cricut collection, playing with jacks. This was a Mania Start 2019, I guess I did it. The one and only time that I've ever done Mania, the one and only time I'm ever going to do Mania. Thanks to Jennifer from Jen Stitching Niche, she talked me into that. I did like 30 stars. That was insane. I am a one start, one finish kind of girl, and I've got all this stuff just hanging over my head, and I don't like it. Makes me makes me nervous. But we were doing this one as, me and Jen were doing this one as a stitch along, and she finished hers, but I have not. I'm almost done. I don't have very much left at all. Just to fill in. I've got the most part of it done, just some fill in stuff, and then I'm going to be done with it. I'm not, I don't think I'm going to do the border that goes around the edge, because just doesn't seem like I need it but it's really pretty I like it and I chose to do the alternate pattern for the middle pumpkin instead of the jack-o-lantern so it's not so Halloweeny and more fallish can leave it out all year no idea what this fabric is it's kind of a greenish color but it's really pretty on there almost done I need to get that one done the other one that I have worked on a good bit is Holly by Nora Corbett from the Pixie Couture collection. I just love it. I have been on a I've been on a Nora kick lately. I have been buying most of the new Noras. I'm not really into the to the mermaids and stuff, but I bought several of of her new things and just collecting them. Just buy them all. I think I showed y'all last time all the ones that I got Jen to order for me because she's my Local needle workshop, personal shopper. I bought a bunch. This is my progress so far. It's on a kind of a creamy peach opalescent fabric. Probably under the sea fabrics. I don't know. Probably under the sea fabrics. I forgot to get my sheet out that said what, what's on there. But it's got sparkle. I'm all about some sparkle. And she's turning out really pretty. The beads are really pretty. I don't have too much left on her either. I gotta do 
and just the bottom of her dress and her legs. She's coming right along. Oh, and her wings. I gotta do her wings. That'll take forever. So this is my one finish that I've had for the last, I don't know, all year at least. This is Colorful Eagle Patriotic by Kitty and Me Designs. I got it on Etsy. I kept seeing her stuff pop up on Instagram, I think. And she does a lot of cats that look like this, kind of a patchwork type design. And they're pretty. I'm just not a cat person, but they're pretty. So I went to her Etsy shop. And looked around and found this. And I loved it. Loved, loved, loved it. And I ordered it. Started it immediately. I actually had some fabric. This is Under the Sea Fabrics. Chesapeake Bay. It's a 32 count Jobelin. And it was perfect. This, I pretty much stopped everything and stitched on this sucker. All the gold is Krynik. It's number 8 braid. I think that it was a little thick for this 32 count. I probably should have used number four, but I had to order it and I had it, so I was gonna use it. But I love this. Look at that eagle. He is beautiful. I love eagles and all that crying. He's so sparkly. If I had an opalescent piece of blue fabric, I'd have used that. <laughs> But I cannot wait to get this framed because it is amazing. Amazing. It's my probably my all-time favorite stitch. Probably on my all-time favorite. It's pretty high up there. I loved it. It was a joy to stitch. And it was easy. Big blocks of color. Um, very little back stitching. So it just went really fast and I enjoyed it so much. So I'm gonna I'm gonna get it framed really pretty. Some extra matting and get it all fancy and find somewhere in my living room to hang it probably it'll have a a special place i think but i guess that's it that didn't take long i thought since it's been so long i thought it would be a better uh, a little bit longer but no um i do plan now that i am home all the time most of the time i do plan on doing more regular videos so y'all check back with me. I'm going to be having some new stuff. Um, I've got a bunch of new ideas for my shop. Um, that's going to be getting kicked off pretty seriously here pretty soon. So y'all check with my shop. Y'all check back here. See what I'm up to. Y'all come join my Facebook group and get the first peek at everything that I'm going to do. I'm still going to do some... I'm going to concentrate on my Etsy shop being stitching accessories. And again, if there's something that you can think of that would be awesome in there, let me know. And I will work on doing that. If you have any special requests, I like to do custom stuff. I'm still going to crochet some. It's going to kind of be on the side and through my Facebook group. So um, if anybody has any special requests for that, I'm not going to take too many, too many custom orders, but... I will throw out some new things here and there um, and let people order on, on there. But my main focus is going to be my Etsy shop and then I'm just going to do the crochet on the side because I do like to do it. And it's fun. And I've ordered some more yarn, so I've got to use it now. But <laughs> so y'all buy some stuff. Um, I'm planning also to do the craft show here in Hattiesburg, the Holiday Expo that I did last year, where uh, all I had was Christmas ornaments and a few other um, things, some sh lighted shadow boxes and some tiles, all done with my Cricut. So I'm going to do that show again. I've got my same, I've already registered. I've got my same spot. It's inside and it's a great spot. So I'm pretty excited about that. Now I have more time to plan instead of a week's time to get everything done. Um, I hopefully I can come up with some, some new and different things and get those going and not be last minute trying to get everything rounded up for that. But I'm pretty excited about that. So if you're local to Hattiesburg, come see me. 
it is the Saturday before Thanksgiving. Um, that's it, guys. Y'all have a great day. I will see y'all soon. Happy stitching. Bye.